George Clooney kind of, right? I was thinking of kind of something I wanted to say about Full House, but I will save that for after. Keep it to yourself. Yeah, mm, okay. I'll, I'll tell you in commercial. Tell me later. All right. In entertainment news this morning, Lil Wayne offers to financially provide for a former police officer who saved his life. First, though, Grammy Award winner Lizzo breaking down after she said she got some hateful comments on social media. And Ray from Johnny's House XL 1067 is joining us live with a scoop on this. And, and Ray, you know, it, I, I love that she was very vulnerable with this, right? Because a lot of people would have just maybe not said anything, but she was like, you know what? I'm just going to come out and tell people what happens uh, to me on social media. Yeah, so she was straightforward with her Instagram lives and her posts, and she was saying that, like, listen, she has been getting a lot of hateful messages on social media, and she says that all she wants to do is, like, put out this powerful, like, upbeat music and energize, and, you know, she, she's all about this positivity, but then all of a sudden she's getting all this hate, and she says that she feels like when she's working so hard, her tolerance gets lower, her patience is lower, she's more sensitive, so now it looks like Facebook got a word of all this and they're stepping in and they're going to actually start scrubbing some of the hateful comments that are directed straight towards Lizzo on her social media. Um, and they're going as far as taking some of these people and getting rid of their accounts. So if mm. you send any hateful messages, you could get your Facebook kind of, you know, removed. Which, you, when you sign up for Facebook, yeah. you know, in the guidelines, no hate speech, no harassment, no bullying, which we see all the time on Facebook, but now they're trying to put a stop on it with Lizzo. Yeah, my son introduced me to Lizzo on social media. Girl, I am hooked. She's I amazing. Everything she, she does. She really is amazing. Now. I really love her on social media. I'm sorry that's happening to her. Hopefully it'll get yeah, better. Yeah, and it's crazy. No, she like. I know she came out as like this powerful, like, you know, self confidence. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, it just seems like she's just shattering because of all these comments. Well, and what know. she said to Ray that I thought was really important, she said, I don't care if people come at me because they don't like my music or if it's something about, you know, about my work. She said, it's when they come at you and attack you personally because of race or, or her size. That is what really impacted her. Yep. Yeah, I, I totally get that from her. Yeah. Well, let's talk about Little Wayne because I hadn't heard about this, that apparently a police officer saved his life when he was 12 years old, and now he wants to financially provide for this now ex-police uh, officer. What's the story here? Okay, so this guy, his name is Uncle Bob, and Little Wayne talks so highly of this person. Um, when he's 12 years old, he uh, it was it's a crazy story. If you have not read the full story about Little Wayne back in the day, um, when he was 12 years old, he actually tried to commit suicide, and so this was one of the cops that showed up on the scene, and he was the only one that stepped in to save his life. All the other cops were worried about you know drugs in the house or anything like that. So this guy saved his life when he was 12 years old, and he's stayed in touch with him um, and he's even offered to pay for everything he's like listen I want to help you financially I want to do whatever I need to do to help you Uncle Bob because you saved my life when he was 12 he stayed in contact with him um, and you know he even offered him a job joining his team in like an administrative capacity but he is all about this Uncle Bob as I think he should be. I mean, he's 12 years old, and who knows what was going on in his life during that time. And I'd be curious to know if Uncle Bob has taken him up on that offer. Do we know? So uh, what I heard is that he has not. He's ah. not taken him up on any financial help or anything like that. So as far as like a job, I don't think he's actually taken him up on that uh, either. So he's just, you know, he knows that little Wayne is there yeah. if he needs something. Um, and they just stay close friends now. Oh, that's wonderful. I love it. Yeah, it's beautiful. Ray, thanks so much. Ray from Johnny's House, XO 1067. Love you. We'll see you soon. Love you guys. Have a good one.